do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve the next question that is uh, question number uh, 44 of neat physics paper 2017 Hello students let us solve question number 44 a thin prism having refractive refracting angle 10 degree so it is a thin prism then made of glass of refractive index 1.42 so is a thin prism whose angle of prism is uh, 10 degree and uh, it is made up of a uh, class of refractive index 1.42 this prism is combined with another thin prism of refractive index 1.7 so there is uh, to produce deviation uh, to produce dispersion without deviation so i will uh, connect another one like so and obviously inverted so this is having refractive index changes only that is the refractive index is 1.7 this combination produces dispersion this is actually dispersion without deviation no deviation means uh, dispersion will be there dispersion will be there but uh, deviation is zero so this is not zero this is zero deviation angle of deviation is delta zero means that uh, this prism will uh, have some angle of deviation because we know that whenever there is a prism and the ray of uh, light passes through the prism suppose that it passes like that this is the original direction and this is the final direction so this is the deviation angle delta this uh, first prism will uh, deviate the ray clockwise and because this is kept inverted it will uh, deviate anti clockwise so what the first prism will do if this deviates by delta 1 if the second prism deviates by the same amount and let it go like that then there is no deviation so this deviation is uh, the first case is clockwise suppose and in this case it will be anti clockwise this clockwise and so and what is the angle of deviation this is the initial value this final one this angle is delta 2 if the two angle will cancel out each other the ray will uh, go without deviation so that means uh, delta 1 is equal to delta 2 you have to go for this relation so if i go for this relation that clockwise deviation uh, is balanced by anti clockwise deviation you can write in terms of like this that this the 1 plus delta 2 is 0 but magnitude wise uh, delta 1 mod is equal to delta 2 mod okay so what is the value or uh, delta how this delta angle of prism and refractive index are related because uh, we are given mu we are given a a is 10 mu is uh, having two values so one is 1.42 another is 1.72 1.70 this is for first prism and this is the second prism for producing no deviation so these are the mu values this is the a value and this is the delta how they are related we know that uh, from prism formula that mu equals to sin of uh, a plus delta m divided by 2 divided by sin of a by 2 because it is a thin prism sin is dropped 
and mu is uh, a plus delta this delta is always the minimum for thin prism by 2 divided by a divided by 2 this 2 will cancel the cross multiply mu a is a plus delta this implies that uh, delta equals to a into mu minus 1 this is the working formula that uh, we have to use so I write that delta equals to a into mu minus 1 this working formula for a clockwise deviation delta 1 equals to a1 the angle of the prism and uh, mu 1 minus 1 which must be equal to delta 2 which is equal to a2 into mu 2 minus 1 this is your delta 2 so we are uh, to find the refractive angle of the second prism so we are interested in uh, this a2 because uh, the refractive in the second prism should be so this one is required this one is required a2 this one is given a1 which is uh, 10 degree so now i write these two equations that a2 equals to this value divided by this value so it is a1 mu 1 minus 1 divided by mu 2 minus 1 these two equations are equal i want a2 so this value is divided here now i'll just put the plug in the values so a1 is 10 mu 1 is uh, 1.4 2 minus 1 divided by this is 1.7 minus 1 so that a2 comes out to be 1.10 into 1.41 uh, minus 1 is uh, 0 0.42 divided by this is 0 0.3 0 0.3 1 point so this is minus 0 0.3 because 1 point so this is 0 0.3 or uh, 0.7 this is uh, plus uh, 0.7 because 1.7 minus 1 is 0.7 so now we have a uh, 10 into 0 0.43 divided by 0 0.7 so if I take this uh, approximately so this is 0 0.42 actually this is 0.42 I will uh, if I multiply this this is 4.2 okay this is 4.2 this is divided by 0 0.7 then it is uh, 42 divided by 7 which is equal to 6 degree so finally we are getting the uh, angle of the second prism refractive angle of the second prism for producing uh, this is uh, 6 degree this is the correct answer then so this angle comes out to be 60 degree. So that is the answer to this question. Okay. Thank you.